Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arakakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be. Bahasham is in the name, Yahweh Shai, His only begotten Son, Holy World, and only cause, Lord and Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai is His name, which means He deliverer, He savior. These are the powers that we serve, these are the powers that we come in the name of. Double on us, our apostles and elders are great mercy our teachers who surely do well. And salutation to the elect brethren in his work in truth and in sincerity. Brothers, the power is coming. The spiritual power is going to be here. And that spiritual power is going to be given unto the Lord's elect. To wreak revenge, vengeance and to repay the evils that has been done unto the nation of Israel and this is what Esau fears right because as has been promised that once we turn right once we turn to our maker Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in repentance right that we were going to conquer our enemies right so we're going to get us a couple of scriptures to prove this right it says, um, Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 23. Then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours from the wilderness and Lebanon from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the uttermost sea shall your coast be, and there shall and there shall no man be able to stand before you for your power your power shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that he shall tread upon as he had said unto you so this this here was the promise made unto us back in the time of Deuteronomy which is the second book of the law it says what the title for it at the beginning of the chapter is reward for of obedience right so we have been through that captivity that slavery right we 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 have been through the scattering you know the chastising of the lord right we have been through the hell now we enter into through that that narrow passage that straight gate where we just have but a few more prophecies which is the motb and then world war three we are of temptation we have to pass through that to enter in to keep that we pray that Yahweh allows us to keep our integrity and that the elect be delivered right from that judgment right and through that deliverance right the elect they're gonna be part of the the what the armies are gonna take the kingdom the scripture said the saints of the Lord shall take the kingdom so we're gonna have a joy in what Repaying vengeance alongside with Yahweh Shai unto what his enemies and our enemies as a nation. First Kings chapter eight and verse um, thirty-five says, "When heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee, if they pray towards this place and confess thy name, Yahweh Bashem Shai, these are the names that we have to confess and turn from their sin. When thou afflict, afflictest them, right?" We were afflicted as a nation, as a people, one man sin and the whole nation was, <laughs> sorry, it was made to pay the man that sin was Adam. Yahweh shine his first incarnation on earth, right? Verse 36, then hear thou from heaven and forgive thy sins of thy servants and of thy people Israel. It says that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon the, thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. Right? If there be in the land famine and be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locusts, or if there be any caterpillar, if their enemy besiege them in the in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by the, all thy people Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hands towards his house. Then hear thou from heaven, Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and forgive, and do, and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart thou knowest, for thou, even thou, only knowest the hearts of 
of all the children of men right so the elect the sanctified ones their heart is towards your heart should be outshine this time and what he see what he promised he promised a deliverance right he promised a a a a, a, a strengthening right unto these men these men that what that served you see what he's not ungrateful to forget your labors or love right he's not ungrateful to forget your labors or, or unthankful to forget your labors or love you know your heart bashing your shot is good for it right it says um Isaiah 40 and 31 I said at, at 29 he gave it power to the faint and to them that have no might he increased strength even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall right but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and shall mount up with wings as eagles they're gonna what we're gonna be like gonna be on chariots right they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint right that's spiritual power and that spiritual power is to what to reap a havoc to what to to pay vengeance to repay them that trouble you right this is um psalms what's up with psalms so like, yeah. isaiah 41 and verse 10 it says fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy power i will strengthen thee yea I will help thee, ye, I will uphold thee with thy right with the right hand of my righteousness, which is who you have a shy. Right? The scripture in Daniel says what they shall be joint heirs with him. Behold, they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they, sh they that strive with thee shall perish. So we know the end of um the committee community. We know the end of vocal monload and the um the apologist community we know the end of Esau and Edom and these other nations that are confederate against us because just say the Lord they're gonna be what they're not gonna be able to do anything against thee how many scriptures saying that right but they shall what they shall they that strive against thee shall perish thou shalt seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee which is Esau and Edom the, what the scripture says um, going back to Genesis 27 when the days are mourning for their father Isaac had and he saw sought to kill Jacob right so they were the ones that contended against thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught right for I the Lord will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not I will help thee fear not the word Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee say the Lord and thy redeemer the holy one of Israel behold I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills chaff right thou shalt find them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them which is the chariot and thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh and shall glory in the holy one of Israel right um. Bear with me a quick second. It's Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Lord, we would see it mean to be was sanctified, to be cleansed. Right? So those of the elect, those of the election of Israel, they are the ones who are going to be sanctified and cleansed by the washing of the water. They would have this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding. They have a great reward, right? That Ezra talk about it, right? It says, but the saints of the Lord, of the Most High, 
shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever right so that's 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 a promise made in the book of daniel right that was a that was a prophecy that that is yet to come to pass right this is second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 26 it says and for and as for the servants whom i have given thee there shall not one of them perish for i will require them from among thy number be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance the heathen shall envy thee but they shall be able to do nothing against thee saith the lord my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell so protection is got is is, is is protection and provision is provided for the elect here in these last days in these in these perilous times right all these sacrifices that you have been making in the name of your Habashim Yahushai, it is not going on notice right? the days that you do without, you fast willingly and unwillingly, right? In the name of your Habashim Yahushai, we take it all cheerfully knowing that there's a time that we're going to be repaid with grace, <laughs> with mercy, that these heathen and all these people that, that are mighty now, they're going to be weak then, right? Thus say to your Habashim Yahushai right famine is going to be on the land all these champions um oh i know i i, I will eat the green the, the leaves over the trees yeah let's see let's see let's see right jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 20 it says oh sorry 51 and 20 is it the what my battle axe and my weapons of war for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces a man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. So, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to be glorified through his men. Right? So, 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 the, so the fight is on. The race is on. Right? He saw his scene, all these things, and they're scared. Right? They're scared. Because why? Yahweh Bashem Yahshua has a has a prophecy against this man against this the wicked against the, the oppressors against those that are against the righteousness of Yahweh and his righteous messengers so a payback is soon come you know this is something to rejoice about and not to be heavy spirited about the current situation you know come on the current situation is but temporary the Lord say what all lies on the earth is temporal right but what we're fighting for is eternal everlasting kingdom everlasting dominion is going to come with us abaratas are being of the elect taking down our enemies that's good that's good so lucky that's going to be a great joy to take down your enemies to destroy them that destroyed you right the lord himself is going to have his vengeance on they that pierced them the scripture said they're going to wail because of him well praises say about shimmy he's going to get back his lick you know he's going to get his lick back you know starting with him first and then what the elect after you know there is something to rejoice over right it seems it might be hey, all these demonic attacks our brothers going through hey guess what that's just a that's just, yo man the lord say he's not gonna give him more than he could bear in the spirit of the, the brother across the mbabe that's brother kosha big man the lord not gonna gain nothing more than he could bear you know so this this light is, is is light affliction the scripture calls it these troubling thoughts whatever it may be but the lord you know he gives his tough toughest battles to his strongest warriors right and you know it's not yet been made manifest what we shall be all right let me get our scripture The 
It says first John 3 and 2. It says, Beloved, now are we the sons of power, and it did not yet appear what we shall be. Yeah, because we in these physical weak bodies, right? You know, it kind of remind me of um, Loki and Hulk. Puny God, and you know, he, he smashed him up, beat him left and right. But we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. What did the scripture say? We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. It says, And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. You see? So we almost have this bitch. We have power to get. Have a desire of the elect. You know, you have a, 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 a payback, to pay back alongside with the Lord. We have some work to do. We have some good work to put in. Right? And it's gonna be a, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You know? It's gonna be fun. You know, so go watch the present situation at camp. Right? Think about the things to come. We have a new heaven and a new earth that gonna come down from heaven, come down from what the chariot, right? We electing the spiritual bodies, right? First second, I'll close over this one second Thessalonians chapter one verse sixteen. This is a righteous thing with the most high to re recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven, remember say it's the scripture we read before said what we will be him and we will see him as he is, because we're gonna be like him, right? When he shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, right? We are hopefully the messengers of Yahweh Shem Yahushai sent. In the flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come, to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day right so with that appeared was edifying all praises and our glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakodash double honor to our pastors and our teachers and citations to the like which are in this work in truth and sincerity Shalom